Well, nice to see all you guys. And I can't even imagine how much fun it must be to work on a horror film like this. Any comments? <laughs> we did have a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun. Funnily <laughs> enough, though, I think most of the fun I had was just being with you two. Like, it was, which was on and off set. Yeah. Was, well, uh, it's a nice break from running and screaming and yeah. being intense for, you know, three and a half months. You got to kind of wind down it's afterwards. It's a helpful bond. Yeah. Although you guys are quite young, how did Nightmare on Elm Street, the original, did affect any of you? Are you horror fans? Did you guys watch it? Thomas is a huge horror fan. Yeah. I'm not a horror fan, but I did watch it when I was like 12 years old and it really, truly disturbed me. I, I, like, I like horror movies, but I actually hadn't even seen the original all the way through until we got to set. Was that intentional? Was it, um, you know? Well, I mean, it was one of those things that wasn't intentional for like my whole life, but then you get on set and it was intentional to like wait towards the end of filming to watch it. Yeah, and, and you know, it's funny because Freddy Krueger, it doesn't even matter if you're a horror fan or not, who hasn't heard of Freddy Krueger? He's just <laughs> one of those iconic horror figures. Why do you guys think that is? What is it about him? <laughs> uh -huh. I think he's, you know, one of the... One of the only villains in a horror film that has a voice. You know, a lot of them are just silent and stalking, mm. and, and he actually has a voice, which sort of really elevates him and makes him scarier. And he's not just somebody, you know, runs through the woods and, and cuts you up. There's always, you know, everybody's had a nightmare, everybody's had, you know, a bad dream, and, and it's, it's kind of relatable in that way. And you know, sleep's a scary thing where if you can't wake up, and everybody has to sleep. So it's. It's a, it's, a, it's a scary, he's a scary guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he is, and, and he, you know, the thing is, you're right, you, everybody has nightmares. Yeah. Who hasn't woke up in one of those cold sweats, mm -hmm. right now? Um, but with this, it's, you know, I, I was just wondering, in terms of your preparation for this film, did you guys have to do this sle sleep deprivation, or did you read into it, or even try it? <laughs> in the beginning, I, we, I read a lot about it, actually, yeah. and in the beginning, we were trying, or at least I was trying. Um, well, I wasn't trying, but he wasn't, I ended he up just, never sleeping yeah. anyway, because yeah. it was just chaos <laughs> doing thing. In the beginning, I, we were trying to sort of deprive ourselves, but that didn't last that long. It's an exhausting movie. you got to sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me about the intensity of working on this film, because although we were joking in the beginning that it's fun to work on, it's got to be pretty intense. Do you guys, why, why don't you start? Um, yeah, I mean, these two had <coughs> uh, an infinitely larger amount of uh, stunts and, and things that they went through. I mean, but I... You know, um, it was uh, the days that I shot, especially because we were all doing night shoots uh, consistently, were tiring. And particularly, I think a lot of the stuff in the boiler room, which probably for all three of us was really rough because it was a real, uh, it was like a it was paint a factory. Paint factory. Yeah. yeah, and it was really hard to work in there. And it was just, I mean, the air was awful. And, uh, you know, it was exhausting. And, and personally, I really hated uh, having to run so much because I don't really <laughs> like moving much. So, uh, Rooney, you go. <laughs> yeah, I would say the boiler. I mean, really every set was was pretty intense. and um, But the boiler room especially, it was because it was r like a real old paint factory. It was dirty and smoky. And, you know, it was really, it was really hard to be in that room you know, all day, especially because we really never saw the light of day. And you guys like were put through the ringer. I mean, let's just talk about all the makeup, the blood, and going through all that. I mean, you come out of this big vat of blood. I gross! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was gross. And it was it was freezing. I was literally almost hypothermic that day. I think I fainted at the end of that day. It was, And it was heavy, too, that blood. Um, my clothes were just like, so, like my sweater, you know, was like, yeah, you it sweater down stretched. Your yeah, it was all the way down to my ankles by the end of the day because it was so <coughs> full of that heavy blood. Yeah. Now, taking over the role of Freddy Krueger, I mean, that's, that's bold, real bold uh, for somebody to do that. And I think Jackie did a spectacular job in this role, really. He, you know, hats off to the guy. Start with you. What, what was it like the first day that you saw him in makeup? Did, you know, your reaction to him? Um... It's intense. I mean, he, he, he does genuinely look like a real burn victim, so it's almost, it's not so much fear in the beginning as much as because we've met Jackie and known Jackie that there's kind of a compassion there because it's like, oh, God, Jackie, you look terrible. What happened to you? you know? <laughs> um, but then once he, once he you know, throws a glove on and gets going, it, it, it's a totally different game. But when you first see him, it is. It's, it's, it's a bit unnerving. It's kind of an intense experience. How about for you, Rooney? Yeah, it was very intense, especially the first time because we there's so much anticipation building up to it. Um, I didn't want to see him until I had to be on set with him for the first time. 
and but I kept hearing about it, and you know, he would come in this cloak and to to hide from so no one would see his makeup. And um, I remember the, like when he took off the cloak for the first time, it was just it was really intense. Yeah, and was it hard because he's such a nice person mm -hmm. to play opposite somebody, and you have to be freaked out by this guy? Yeah. Well, I remember when I was hanging upside down, and he's supposed to be terrorizing me and trying to kill me. He was like the only one who was like, "Get him down! Get him down! It's not fair!" Because Jackie's so nice. So that was kind of <laughs> odd. It was kind of a reverse. Uh, no, I was never scared of Jackie though, but I didn't have I didn't do a lot of the uh, terrifying, you know, lying in bed with the claws on your legs and stuff like that. I didn't really have to be a, a part of, so that was lucky. Were there any claw mishaps? Yes. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. worst. I got. There's a scene where Jackie's supposed to come at me, and the claws are on hinges, and every once in a while they would kind of come off. So when he went to swipe at me, he was supposed to tuck his fingers, but because it came off, it was still straight out and. Caught me across my stomach. It wasn't like terrible, but those things are sharp. It was enough to cut you and draw a little blood. <laughs> yeah, and, and the two of you in this, because you, your characters develop so well over the over the film. You know, you start off very introverted, and then of course you have to, you know, what was your bonding process like on the film? <laughs> 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 me and Kyle had actually met before the film. We'd actually uh, screen tested to together for a different film twice. So we sort of knew each other before. Um, and we all three of us sort of bonded instantly. I mean, literally, like, by the night second one. day. Yeah, by, like, night one, we were yeah. all... really all, like, w we sort of all were sort of kindred spirits. Yeah. <laughs> Is this the kind of movie that, even if you're not being killed off or you don't need to be on set, you want to be there to watch the kills? Yeah. I think it's also because horror movies are so difficult that it's almost like you want a support system. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you're always so amped up all day and keeping yourself so high strung that by the end of the day you're exhausted and every once in a while it's nice when somebody pops in. It's like, oh, yeah. thanks for stopping yeah. by. Like, and I was in the scene, gotta, but it was, it was amazing to watch the whole Chris flying scene. Yeah, there's Because that was like two, three days, and I, you know, I just stood there yelling <laughs> in my boxers. <laughs> um, but to, to, to see what, how it was being done was just pretty, uh, and of course too, because that scene is such a, like, I remember seeing that scene for the yeah. first time when I was like nine or ten and being like, and so then being again in that scene was very odd for me, but yeah. you know, cool. Um, yeah, of course, and, and we know that, you know, there's this actor, Johnny Depp, I don't know, he was in the original, and look, you know. Look oh, forget him, this is the new one. I was going to say, look, <laughs> how, you know, look how far he's come from the old Elm Street days. You, Kyle, you think about that? Let's not talk about it right now. <laughs> Kyle's a movie star. It's, it's, oh, uh, <laughs> well, it's one of those things that the movie's very different. Not very different, but the characters are different. Um, I, uh, it's just really hard. Like, it's one of those things that's, like, his career's developed so much, and it's this amazing, amazing career that when people are like, so, Kyle, you've done a couple movies, you're 23. Don't screw this up. <laughs> you know, like, it's... <laughs> It's kind of unnerving. Like, no pressure. Like the first time I saw, you know, when it came out that I was announced that I got cast, and it was like Kyle Gunner playing the Johnny Depp role. I was like, oh no, that's terrible. At least it's not as bad as me getting asked all the time. You're the Johnny Depp role, and I have to go, no, <laughs> no. That's I mean, it's Kyle. it's it's awesome, but at the same time, it's <laughs> it's it's intimidating. Like he's he's one of my, you know, he's somebody I really look up to, and and so it's it's kind of tough. What in a think, good way. I'm sorry. What do you think is the most important ingredient in a horror film? Like, what really freaks people out the most? You start. Uh, I would say believability. I mean, I think that that, you know, and by that I mean in all sort of ideas of the, of the word is, is that you need to believe the characters, you need to believe what's happening, and you need to believe it in your own life. Because if you can't put it into your own situation, then it's not going to scare you. Then you're separated from the screen. So I think that a lot of the things that really make a horror film work is a truth and, a, and just a, a sort of one, a singular voice of aggression or of uh, mood or of all that. And I think that this film really does have that. I think Sam worked really hard on that. Every actor in the movie is, is good. You know, the writing is, it was a very much a collaborative process, which I think really worked and helped. And um, that's what I think it's gonna be scary for people is because it's new, it's current, and it's real. That is a great answer. Thank you. I yeah, have my time just wrapped up. To say. <laughs> you guys were really, really great in this, and uh, congratulations. Thank it's a lot you. of fun. Say hi to Good. Toronto. Definitely. <laughs> say, say hi yourself. Hi, hi Toronto. Hey, <laughs> okay, thanks, guys. I Thank appreciate you. it. Thank okay. you.